Hey Taurus, so this is your summer solstice reading. If this is your first time being here, thank you for being here. Make sure that you subscribe and like this video if it serves you. And if it does, let me know in the comments. I would love to read that to see how these things are showing up for you guys. Okay, and yes, if you all are interested in ritual work, conjure work, we have my company. Uh, my family company, I should say, <laughs> Lizzie's Charm. We have a um, full moon ritual coming up on this Capricorn full moon um, this week. Is it this week? Maybe next week. So the 26th, I believe. <laughs> Either way, if you are interested in joining that, you can do that in the description below. I have a link posted there. And yes, so let's go ahead and get into it. This Taurus energy. So Taurus, for you guys, um, when I was sitting with your energy, asking spirit, like, what's going on with Taurus, the song Bossy came up by Khalees. I'm Bossy. I'm the first girl to brew on the track. I don't, I'm not sure what the exact words, how they go. I switched up the beat of the drum. That's right. I bought all the boys in the yard. That's right. I'm the one that's tattooed on his arm. That's very Taurus vibes, but also very Leo vibes like Khalees. <laughs> so you may be focusing on your business, what it is that you're building, getting very sure, grounded and stable in that, right? And knowing who it is that you are, knowing your worth, being very much so in your, um, what is that? In your Taurus Venusian energy, right? In that in that beauty aspect of yourself and seeing yourself for who it is that you are and not accepting anyone else seeing you any less than that. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what it is that um these dice and these cards have to say for you. Okay, let's see what these dice have for you, Taurus. Okay, they have Capricorn, <laughs> the North Node in Capricorn in the sixth house, yeah, so bossy fit well. So this is about your destiny and um, you being the leader in your world, in your life, right, and, and being like this responsible figure in regard to others, maybe you... Um, are the boss of others maybe you may even be getting a raise or a promotion in your job that is going to be something that you have been desiring what you've been wanting something as you've been working toward and i'm hoping that you've been hoping for okay and um it's almost as if you know this is really supporting you and seeing the beauty of yourself and in the world um of your life and being able to really express yourself in that way too. So um, you may find yourself coming into a lot of responsibility this summer as well, um, especially of your day-to-day -day life, but it's something that you want, something that feels right, something that you it feels like you're supposed to be doing, that you should be doing, right? And, and moving forward in that, um, you may be getting very committed to your rituals, your daily rituals. Uh, you may get some pets or a pet. Um, pets that are going to be with you for quite some time, okay? And um, really just finding a lot of stability and security within your life, your everyday life, right? And um, feeling boss-like. You know, like you are able to, uh, you can do anything, you, you, and you do it well. Okay, so let's see, Taurus, what else is happening here? Um, you may be cultivating some new habits this summer as well. You may be letting go of some old habits that, the habits that block you from being able to align with your goals, your your idea of success, right? So uh, you just getting very stable for the long term. Your life, your daily life is about to be reflecting legacy, 
right? So what it is that you're passing down, but also who it is that you are and what you offer to others, what you bring to others. Um, you may be finding yourself in a space of commitment, even more commitment to um, service in regards to other people. So let's see. What cards, what else do you have for Taurus spirit? What would you like for them to know at this time? And it's like, it's not even a sense of ego. It's just like, yeah, I can do this. It's nothing, it's fine. Like, oh, this gotta be done? All right. You know, cause it's very Capricorn energy, knowing how to get the job done achieving in this you may even be getting recognized for this people may be seeing you for this as well first card that came out is the two of six so you are definitely making a solid plan um in regards to the, your future right and, and traveling there you're moving there this is going to bring a lot of movement a lot of flow into your world into your life um this may bring some form of uh communication from others but this may also this is also bringing you a lot of balance within harmony and peace right on a soul level on a spirit level you know if you have been feeling kind of um out of sorts in a way um it's definitely going to shift right but you also have this 10 of sticks coming out here under capricorn so it may start off like a lot of work. It may feel kind of burdensome at first, but you have the skill and the ability to um, get the job done and get it done right. Whatever that job may be, whatever it is that you are working towards, whatever enterprise you are embarking on, right? Because you are at the precipice of you're beginning a new cycle, right? And in this this may happen in the fall once the newness of like, so it's like you're planning, planting now, right? And, and, and nurturing and nourishing everything that you are preparing to harvest in the fall. Like work must be put in before you can gain what it is that you, um, what you've been nourishing. What else is your spirit? Or towards what else is here in ace of states here so a new new routines new health reg regimes okay new um habits a uh, new way of going about your life daily okay new um new pets <laughs> new uh rituals new um new ways of eating new ways of of living life Okay, and this is all by, this is inspired action. Things are moving quickly. You have nothing but sticks here, which is fire energy. Okay, and um, this is basically you, you, you are rebirthing yourself. You are rebirthing your life. It's something very, very new to you. The old is leaving, all right? And, and what was is no longer. <laughs> It is no longer. All right. So let's see. What else do we have here for Taurus spirit? Yeah, like it's like what's bothering you, what seems burdensome is very minor. Okay, so what is it, it's minor, although it may seem big at first, heavy. Um, it's the going through the process and doing what needs to be done that is going to make it happen because it is moving a little bit slower than you would like it to. So it's the changes, what has to happen is moving quickly, but the change into um, the structure that's coming about with where you're putting effort into that is taking time, you know, because you have to be practical about this step by step, organized, have to plan two of sticks okay so you have here the dandelions and she's a number 40 so this is about being in your sense of authority your place of authority okay um in 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 doing what it is that you're good at all right and 
showing up in that, making sure that you have, you're keeping a good, a tight spiritual practice, a, a keeping up with your spiritual hygiene, right? So that it, you can always allow that to guide you because dandelions is about perspective, how it is that you are seeing things and, and doing that meditation, doing the breath work, however you go about your spiritual work, that is what is going to serve you in being able to see clearly what it is that needs to be done, what steps that needs to be taken. Because with things coming at it, because it's like things are coming quickly, right? So you are going to have to make sure that you are holding the right perspective and seeing that truly for what it is so that you can make the right moves, take the right steps, you know, and, and, and making sure that you're giving things enough water, right? Making sure that you're fertilizing on time <laughs> as well, okay? So oh, let's see, what else is here for Taurus spirit? What else is here for Taurus? Hmm. Taurus, what else is here? All right, so the perspective is also speaking to, um, you know, you got this 10 of six, it speaks about burdens, but the burden is also lifting as well. So it's a need to see um, what all is really taking place again, you know, so that you can recognize the purpose of why everything is happening. So here, can you see that? We have the porpoise. The porpoise is the number 28. It says working for something and expecting the opposite will discourage it from happening. Okay, all right. Again, perspective. It's all about perspective. So if you're going about doing something and you're in the wrong mind about it, um, whatever wrong this in the mind that you are in it's gonna that's what's gonna manifest right you will be in this space of like a, oh this always happens or i knew this was gonna be like this well yeah you knew it was gonna be like this and that's why it's like this sometimes it's really just that simple it's a matter of changing your mind but this is about experience it says the porpoise a buoyant creature of coastal waters predicts that you will be surfing the crest of a huge and wonderful wave your success lies in being focused on one aim living and breathing for what you believe in like the porpoise with one whale with one whale like blowhole looking more dolphin than whale you will easily swim through your personal learning curves being different like the porpoise is a treasure you possess be assured that the tranquil waters waiting to waiting do present personal what the tranquil waters waiting do present personal good fortune and freedom for want and care your luck is bestowed from the depths of the sea. By taking control and daring to risk losing something or someone bad, you will gain so much more. So perhaps it's an attitude that's bad, <laughs> right? Because um, this is it's, it's about tapping into the depths of you. That, that again, that spirituality, that soul calling, that soul alignment, all right? And really being in the space that you need to be in so that what you are attempting and working towards will manifest in the way in which you're desiring, which way you're seeing it, right? And not obstacles come up. It's just, that's life. We have to um, move through things in order to get to the other side of whatever it is that we're in, what we're trying to uh, move beyond right and and through this it's experience that, wow that's experience and experience is what brings us the lessons it is that offers us the wisdom to know better in the future right to go forward in a way that's much wiser that um much smarter right that uh of less commotion <laughs> less uh turbulence however you want to see the hardships, the, the struggles, the tumultuous energy that we experience through life out of trying to um, live, you know? We are not victims. We are in control of all things, quite literally. And it is how it's, it's perspective. How are you choosing to see a thing? How are you choosing to see a thing? All right, so spirit, what else is here? 
for what, what crystal is here for Taurus. This energy is kind of reminding me of my Saturn return year. So I'm going to share a story with y'all. Um, these apartments we lived in, they were some really nice apartments, but uh, they had got flooded during the storm that we had out here in Houston some years ago. And the other roaches were really bad. And I didn't know that until one day when I had left this box on the floor. Um, it was empty, but it had had food in it. Right? I could, but it couldn't fit in the trash can. So this started like this infestation of roaches basically. And I basically had to change my entire life. Um, not that I wasn't already doing that, but I had to be more consistent, more committed to it, right? My Saturn is in Capricorn um, and it's in my sixth house. So this is very similar to that energy. And you have this, this, this North node here. So it's about destiny and Saturn return is about um, the lessons it is that you've gathered up until this point, but also doing the work in whatever you, way you need to put it in um, for promise to come about, for those uh, Saturn gifts, those long lasting things for Saturn to come about. So through that, um, my routines, I just had to be on top of it. It had to be like top notch, like waking up in the morning at a certain time, going to bed at night a certain time, cleaning up before I went to bed, vacuuming every day, making sure the house is spotless, all right, to keep these, this under control, right? So in, in the midst of it, it was about my perspective. It was about the perspective it is that I was holding. I didn't know what this was bringing for me, but now I see very clearly that that was like an initiation into where I am right now right um in what i do right now <laughs> which is a whole nother story in itself okay but yeah um and it took me out of uh living always in a survival mode right so when i would when i would move when i would live i wouldn't really be make home really i'd be like oh we about to move after this i don't want to stay here no more but yeah, I had to change my mind quickly, very quickly. Okay, so I don't know if that resonates for you within this reading or anything, but um, this is definitely that all about perspective, all about the way, because it came quickly. It was like, what, 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 how, where did we been living here for like almost eight months? <laughs> how did it, when did this come about? You know, but it was always there. We just didn't know. We just didn't know. So. Let's see, what else is here, Spirit? What crystal? So you got the Rhodonite Stone, and this is about going with your heart. So it says, use it when that cubicle life got you down, when it's time to drop the people-pleasing facade and start doing something that really lights you up. When you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place. And that's similar to that as well, like having to focus on the beauty. What did I want? How did I want to live? How did I want to feel? You know, and what is it that I needed to do in order to make that happen and just doing that, right, without without complaint, right? Granted, it, it was difficult. I can lie um, emotionally for sure uh, because I had never experienced anything like that before, but it taught me a lot of it deep lessons it made me go very deep oh my god I had to go there you know but in the end I learned something very valuable about myself um and something that cannot be that can't be replaced nor taken away right so this is very similar to this what what are you what is what has been a burden for you that it may be just time to let go of what needs what needs to change what needs to let what needs to drop what what weight what baggage are you carrying right it's time to be free of that so that you can pack light and move forward in a freer sense right because this this you go from the ten of sticks to the ace of sticks so the cycle is ending and starting over all and in between that is the porpoise which is a number 28 and that's a 10 that's the will of fortune right so your path is clearing the roads are clearing you're at a crossroads okay which direction you gonna take where are you going where are you going towards 
<laughs> wherever it is, your heart's there. Okay, follow your heart. You said you got go with your heart here. Go where your heart is leading you and put the energy into it that is going to be required to make it happen. Make it real. Like don't hesitate. Lean and in, lean into it and love and love it. Love upon it. All right. Let's see what else is here. You may be needing to connect with some people in this. Breaking through your limits. That's here. Magician is the magician card is here as well. So you need to uh, get clear in your mind about what it is that you want truly and where it is that what it is that's going to take to get you there. What work is it that's going to need to be done? Because we can do magic, but you still have to take the steps in order to make the magic manifest. It's not it's not a one sided kind of thing. It's a spirit and us. That is what the magician is. It is the, the earthly elements and spirit coming in and unification and manifesting something, creating change in a way that would not necessarily be without having done this kind of thing. So where, where do you need to do that for yourself? Reliability. So not only do you need to be reliable for yourself, you need to be reliable within your relationships as well. Also recognize what relationships are reliable. Where are they reliable? All right. Because at the bottom here, you got independence. So independence is about being yourself still, even in relation to another person. All right. It is, is I think kind of like society has kind of got us mixed up about what independence truly means. And independence is a sense of sovereignty and autonomy. It's just about simply not, um, not being codependent, right? Not letting what's going on outside of you affect you emotionally within, right? Sometimes that, that may seem like it's um, impossible, especially when it comes to relationships. Right, because we 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 play off one another. We're finding balance through interaction with one another. But perhaps you need to be the boss in this. You need to be the leader within this, and you lead the way. You stand stand up and show up and and show how you're going to handle this. Right, and play the whatever. Be in whatever space it is that you need to be in for things to work out, for things to manifest, for things to be stable and secure for you in the way in which it is that um, you are desiring for yourself. What do you see for your life, for your family? Because Capricorn is about family as well. Like that's legacy. It's the highest uh, earth expression. <clears throat> All right, so get out the get, Capricorn is is that um, of all signs the mask wearer right out of a need to get things done. So just be honest, be truthful with yourself and what it is um, that you want to have. Right, what do you value? What do you desire? What you want your possessions to be like? Um, what do you possess that you can utilize to support you in moving forward? It's time to make a plan in regards to that so you can begin acting on it, right? Because you got the, at the bottom, you have the first crescent moon. Is that what it's called? First crescent moon? First, the waxing crescent moon. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's a waxing crescent moon and that's about planning. You got the two, this came out on the two of sticks. And that's about planning as well. So you really need to make a plan and get very clear with how it is that you're going to take the steps to go forward, right? Because Capricorn is methodical, it's practical, it's grounded, it takes its time, it moves like a tortoise, okay? Slow and steady runs the race. <laughs> Going too fast, you might miss a thing, for real. And you got a lot of sticks here. So it's important that you can keep up on all on by all means. Can you keep up? Are you willing to keep up? Is the question. <laughs> what changes need to happen? What what direction are you going in? Where are you headed? Where are you headed? 
do you know? And if you don't know, it's a great time to figure it out. You got summertime is definitely going to give you the inspiration to do so. Yeah. Okay. So this is Sagittarius energy. So you got the 10th, 10 of feathers here. So balance and order is coming up for review. And also you have beauty here. This is your energy. This is Hetheru. Um, she may be a deity for you to connect with, right? Because she, she focuses on beauty in all forms, on all levels, all levels, right? Spirit, physical, mind, emotions. Um, and, and the Lotus is about rebirthing. So rebirthing what it is, how you see beauty, what you feel to be beauty, right? So something is being released. The tower card is, is changing. It's, things are shifting. Um, what is this energy? This is Sagittarius energy. So your past, um, maybe what it is that you've been doing up until this point or how it is that you've been going about doing it, that's shifting, that's changing. You gotta, you gotta change it up, you know, for the sake of um, you not feeling stressed out really. Let's see, it says, this is East. So East is, that is spiritual. Uh, that is, is it spiritual or is it helpful people? I don't know, look up the East direction for feng shui. I think it may be spiritual or it could be helpful people. Either way, it's good to call on those who, are, who can help, right? People may be calling on you for help, but also staying very uh, connected to your spiritual practice, to your spirituality, right? To God, to prayer. However, I don't know how you live in your life, whatever works for you, okay, whatever you like to do, do that, all right, because it's going to support you in being able to get from one space to the other, it's going to help you turn that wheel in the forward movement so that, um, it, it, and it feels like it's just going to happen, right, it's just a matter of you paying attention of what it is that needs to be done so that you can um, receive what it is that you deserve, right? Because we all deserve good things. It's all in a matter of us holding that right perspective and seeing that, recognizing that, being in that, acting in that, right? So this says release is about conception, sight and intuition, clairvoyance, passionate, fast, cleansing and forceful provide the vision and drive needed to generate change the process of liberating energy from its source it says it's purge time it's time to let go light a candle use sacred fire to assist you write it down and burn it up move forward and let nothing hold you back the tower overthrow selfish ambition being shaken to your core, followed by a new revelation. Aftermath is truth, sudden epiphany. Ascent must be prepared with spiritual understanding and humility. Road openers may help you a lot. Doing one every week will probably support you greatly with protection rituals in, in conjunction. Candle work, you've got the magician here at the bottom road openers and, and doing a road opener with protection is always is is potent all right it's potent for real because when the road opens you need that protection to from whatever is going to come from that you even need that protection from yourself like whatever type of psychological things you have of psyching yourself out of the possibility of or um, whatever habits it is that you've been in in order to um, do what it is that needs to be done in order to make it real, right? But regardless of the fact, you still got to do it. You got to, you got to act on it. You got to do the work, whatever that is, whatever shows up for you. And usually when it comes to candle work, it's not much. We don't usually, it's just whatever steps it is that's required, that would have been required but without the hassle. Yeah, and you got the sun card here. So happiness, fulfillment, joy, all of that. But you got lightning at the bottom. <laughs> so it's, it's changing. Things are shifting. But in a really good way, a really good way. Don't let um, what seems hard trip you up. Um, try to find new ways to deal with your emotional nature. 
it's well that spiritual practice is going to serve you with that for real because you're creating a new reality for yourself if you so choose granted um you know it's possible that <clears throat> you just might not be willing and that's okay too nobody's judging you i'm not somebody might be but it ain't me listen what else is your spirit What else is here? The Taurus. Have leap. Yeah, so you gotta have faith. You gotta trust. All right, just go with it. Don't question it. Don't think too much about it. Don't put too many euphemisms or naming a thing or <laughs> I don't know, you know. We just be doing shit. But um, yeah. Get, and this also speaks a lot about that fixed nature that you all operating towards, like being willing to shift that energy um, in a way that allows you to move different, to experience different, to have different. And you know, y'all love having things. Y'all love to have, right? So have what is yours, have what you deserve what you want all right but don't be afraid to face the music at the same time you haven't you gotta go there yeah this is about stability <laughs> foundation all right it says the secret to getting ahead is getting started so go ahead trust you got wholeness it's better to be alone sometimes Okay, and you got the independence there as well with MRAM or where you're being called to break through your limits, talk to who you need to talk to, connect with who you need to connect with. All right, um, be willing to be open, right, with the right people, basically. Be willing to um, let go, be willing to embrace newness. Uh, even with what it is that comes with that, you know? Even with what comes with that, you got 10 here again. So change is coming and it's gonna be good. Don't let things trip you up too much. Handle it the best way you know how. Uh, spirit will definitely support you. Some candle work, some, some conjure work will definitely support you. All right, Taurus. Um, and follow your intuition that y'all are so good at. Y'all have that one thing that um, naturally that other signs don't have, and that's common sense, okay? So, Taurus, I'm gonna love y'all and leave y'all. I hope that this is helpful. I hope it blesses you, all right? And yeah, I will see y'all in the fall. Bye.